that time of year again. Halloween is my one of my favorite holidays ever. Um, I'm really bad at choosing, but it's definitely up there on the list. And I decided that, you know, in Bulgaria, they don't really celebrate Halloween too much, which was really sad when I first came. And I wasn't sure whether anyone would really be interested in my obsession with Halloween, Halloween decorations, but I decided, you know what? If they are not used to doing Halloween, I'm just gonna bring Halloween to them. And that's exactly what we did out here on the farm. But I wanted to show you guys something really cool. You saw all of the bot decorations. Those were clearly bought, but it turns out that the coolest decorations are actually just the ones that you can put together from everything natural, especially when you're on a farm. Let me show you an example right here. So this is a wild boar skin that we've had basically is just lying around, passed down from generation to generation. And I decided, you know what? This is absolutely perfect. I mean, what kind of, what, better decoration for Halloween can you find? I just don't know where exactly I'm gonna put it yet, but for now it'll stay there. Um, something else, well, these pumpkins are clearly not natural, but I was uh, obsessed the moment I saw them. So I'm like, let me get them. Uh, here is an example of some more random natural decorations. This is actually just here all year round. I decided just not to clean the spider webs for a couple weeks there. <laughs> There they are. The spiders are doing the decorating for us. And this I just saw lying on the side of the road. I decided this is perfect. Here you can see there's a deer head. And what's really cool, these are just random things that we found in my old house, my grandpa's old house my boyfriend's house here when we were doing the renovations. What's really cool is the deer head really matches this awesome tablecloth or table runner. This is from William Sonoma, you guys, if you like it. It's a little bit of an older style, but I love it. We actually bought a bunch of them. And look, these are just random things that I found. This is a jackal head and I figured, hey, this works absolutely perfectly. You've got skulls here. Um, turtle shell. There's actually a couple of, there you go, turtles right here on the table runner, the deer head, boar tusks, and yeah, we just put it together. Now here's another piece of natural or whatever was just lying around. This is obviously bought again from William Sonoma. Love it. However, we randomly, when I was Skyping, my mom saw these broomsticks lying around and I'm like, ah. Oh, we decided this is absolutely perfect. And there you can see they're not bought. They're just authentic. And we stuck them over here in the corner with everything else. These are some thorns that we picked and so on. Oh, okay. This is our protector. She stays here all year round. Baba Yaga in Bulgarian, in English, obviously a witch. She never comes down, but still it's uh, clearly bought, but it's made of pretty natural materials when you really look closely. And she's wooden, which is lovely. Hmm. Let me think what other decorations did we put? Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. let me show you right here. Again, bought, but totally natural. Just walked around, saw these leaves, thought they're perfect and Scoop them up and put them in our decorations. This little nook over here is also just always here. The only thing is I'm going to get some pumpkins and I'm going to stick them right there on the two sides. And I think it's going to become very Halloween-y. The tricky thing is that we don't have our own pumpkins yet. And I'm going to have to ask somebody to buy one or two or three. And the people are here are such that if you ask to buy something, they'll pretty much just give it to you. And I don't feel too comfortable asking people for their pumpkins. Maybe I'll ask to borrow them. We're not going to use them for too long. 
and just give them back if they don't want to sell and want to just give to us. In Bulgarian, the word for giving is pudaryavame. Pudaryavash. The pudaryava means to just... If you like something, the answer will probably be like, oh, it's okay. Pudaryavutigo, which means I'm just giving it to you. And these clingies are from America. But yeah, I was just really excited and I decided I really wanted to show you guys our... Humble little Halloween decoration. My decorations in America are insane for Halloween, but I don't have all of the decorations here. So this is what we pulled together and we're gonna keep it growing as the years go by. Okay, now maybe even more interestingly, let me show you what we made to eat. Definitely not something normal that you eat out here. So this here is something that we don't really cook too often on the farm but we went to the city and found this in the supermarket. It's called Vatus in Bulgarian, and in English I translated it. It's a type of stingray, which is, we ate it on the beach once and it was really good. It has these like spiky thorns over here, and I guess these are... I don't know how to translate. I forgot the word for that in English. Um, Anyway, the things that grow, I have no idea actually what that is. Yeah, maybe I have to look at Google and just and figure it out. But we're going to try to cook this. And what you do is you cut it, you put flour on it and salt, of course. You fry it up and you just eat it together with, they're not exactly. He's saying that we shouldn't eat this, of course not. And you just eat it together with the bones. They're not exactly bones, they're more like um, cartilage. Let's see what we're gonna do. Interesting. So we read a few recipes, but we're also kind of just going on instinct. It looks like we have to basically skin the fish because it's all spiky and rough. And we're gonna see what's gonna happen there. At the same time, I'm working <clears throat> on some salmon which again, we don't eat too often out here on the farm, but we decided we're gonna have special fish night. Oh, and by the way, the recipe for the salmon is really simple and it's the best recipe in my opinion. It's just soy sauce, um, uh, this type of mustard, and the one that has like the mustard seeds inside. Uh, I'm completely blanking again in English and Bulgarian. It's copper. Uh, I don't know why I'm blanking, but you guys can see for yourself what it is. Duh, it's dill. Duh now, but back then I can't remember. That's just the side effect of living in a different country now. And lemon. You just mix that all together and you let it marinate for a bit. And the third thing that we're gonna try to cook is this squid. Um, I have no idea how to cook this, but we saw it there and decided to give it a try. Um, yeah, but we ever eat this in, an, in a restaurant, so. We'll see what happens. Oh God. Here is my attempt of cleaning the squid. It's really cool and interesting. Um, yeah, this, I guess I'm gonna get to the body now, but I don't know if anyone on the farm has ever eaten this before, honestly. Do you? Here's the body that I think I cleaned out. I mean, maybe I didn't do a great job, I'm not sure. We're gonna see once we cut it up, but this was pretty cool. This came out of its um, body, so uh, you guys probably know better than I do about the ins and outs of squids, but pretty uh, interesting. Hey mm. This is not something we enjoy every day. Today's a special night. Looks good. I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. 
you'd actually be surprised that no one really eats squid on the farm when we're so close to Greece. There's actually an amazing seafood restaurant I made a video on about crossing borders and eating squid. So after skinning the stingray, we're left with this, which looks pretty much the way I've seen it in restaurants. I think we're on the right track. I know this looks pretty self-explanatory, but let me give you a tip. Try frying it on a little bit lower heat and for a little bit less time. This is the exact color you want. This side's ready. Here we're actually overcooking it a little bit, but hey, you learn with experience. Potato salad. Here's the stingray. Really? Okay. Yeah. We're getting good news from the stingray. It sounds like it's really good. This is my salmon. I like mine a little bit more alangre. There's his. And uh, bon appetit. And if that ray wasn't quote unquote weird enough for you, here's what we had the night before sheep and it's yummy. Now this is what I'm talking about. Sheep innards, you've got lungs, you've got kidneys, you've got stomach, you've got lungs, you've got everything. I think I said lungs. You've got small intestines, big intestines, cow stomach. Of course, a little salad, potato salad, and um, <laughs> very Bulgarian. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can tell who the honored guest of our feast was, Tigger. <laughs>